So our final question, I think, is probably one of the more important questions out there right now. And tell us more, you know, you know, tell us more about the intersection um, of cloud and the environment and, and what are the connections that are made in the book and kind of what's going out going on out there in general. I, I loved writing this chapter of the book because before I started college, I had aspirations of being uh, an environmental accountant, whatever that may have meant to me in freshman year. But I, I do obviously care very much about the environment and it's, it's certainly the impact of AI driving up demand is a significant issue for the environment. And people are going to want to read the chapter about the, the effects on the environment from the AI enabled cloud. Data centers are incredibly resource hungry. They need huge amounts of electricity and the cloud data centers need vast amounts of water for cooling. We're talking staggering amounts of water. One of the statistics we have in the book in 2023, Google reported that its centers used 6.1 billion gallons of water. That's billion with a B. Now think about that at a user level. Asking ChatGPT, say 50 to, you know, five to 50 questions, that's each one is roughly amount an, the amount of water in a standard water bottle. And a water bottle for just a few queries, multiply that by millions of users asking billions of queries that certainly brings it home about how that can be the strain on, on the environment. And we're also hearing certainly a lot about how that, that strain is on power grids, but the water usage is incredible as you just heard. I get it. And also I understand how we got here, but the reality is if you just loop back and put some discipline in how you do your system planning, how you do your system accounting, how you account for the costs, how you account for the utilization of power, how you account for all these sorts of things. And they're built into your governance framework. They're built in your governance methodologies. You'll be able to understand that. And by the way, the ability to optimize for least amount of power and the ability to optimize for least amount of money are exactly the same thing. So guess what? Uh, you know, even if, uh, you know, the environment may not be higher on your priority list, your, your business success is. And companies that are able to do this are going to have a, additional capacity to mine more AI, to build better, better systems, are able to, you know, use these things as a, uh, uh, you know, as a force multiplier for the business to bring value back to the business. And it, in many cases, it's going to guarantee the survivability of the business because if they're able to utilize these resources in a way that's going to um, optimize the amount of value that the company's getting and minimize the amount of money and the amount of power that it's done. Everybody benefits from that.